Do you know what fair trade is? All right, what do you mean by fair trade? Can you tell me anything about fair trade? No, not at all. Have you ever heard of fair trade? <laughs> no. It doesn't seem like many people know what fair trade is. So we went to Media, Pennsylvania, the first fair trade town in the United States, to talk to some experts. Our first stop was to visit Drew Arada, owner of Earthen State. Fair trade uh, in its root is based on the uh, concept that we want to make sure we know where our products are coming from and uh, that the people that are producing the products are receiving a living wage. Uh, there's minimal ecological impact on the environment and uh, the opportunity for education. Fair trade is such an easy way to do the right thing and to equalize wealth in the world. And it's as easy as reaching for one kind of coffee over another kind of coffee, one kind of tea over another kind of tea. Mostly it's just that it's common sense and it's how things should be done. We should be paying people a fair wage for their work. I think that in terms of the structure of the trade system, it makes more sense to cut out the middlemen and just really have more of a cooperative working environment and a working system of trade. Especially the producers who are artisans and farmers. It gives them other guarantees, including that their children will go to school, that they'll receive technical assistance, that they can receive credit. I think a lot about where products come from and fair trade gives me the additional peace of mind to know that the products that we are selling are coming from an ethically sourced location. And it's, it's kind of part of the story of what we're selling because like when we're selling a piece of pottery by a local potter that digs up the local creek clay, that's part of the story, it's part of the pitch. Uh, but it also makes me feel good to know where that bowl came from. Now that we know what fair trade is, how do we go about spreading the message in a way that encourages more people to take part in its mission? I think just letting people know that it doesn't involve a huge lifestyle change is super important. You can do basically everything that you currently buy or like if you're getting coffee, if you're getting sugar, it's all available as fair trade. So it's just like you're getting a higher quality ingredient, you know that you're helping other people in the process. The first thing you want to do is find a product that somebody loves and is going to buy and try to find a fair trade option for that. Chocolate's a great example. Um, you know, there's, there's chocolate companies that are not sourcing their cocoa beans ethically. They can't really say where they're coming from. The main thing is letting people know that it's important that we uh, can feel good about our products because uh, the long-term effect of getting products that are uh, made under questionable situations only allows that situation to continue. Fair trade works really well with the message to buy local. We should buy locally everything that we can, support local farmers, local producers, but things we don't grow locally or make locally, including coffee, tea, sugar, cocoa, bananas, avocados, we should buy from other locally controlled communities. In this case, fair trade guarantees us that those are locally controlled communities. And that's the kind of economy that will help our world. Look in your town for fair trade products. They're everywhere. I mean, honestly, our, uh, you know, one of our bigger providers of fair trade products is Trader Joe's. Um, but you can go into Acme or Superfresh or Target and find fair trade certified products. It's about thinking about your products and following up by finding out where they come from. And what Fairtrade does is it provides a visual system so that you can do that easier.